They're launching their campaign for the European elections from the village of Fobbing in Essex, the site where the Peasants' Revolt started in 1381. Why, I hear you ask? Well, they say they are leading an English revolt against the British political establishment. And what's more, they've even got a catchy campaign song. Let's have a listen. This is the land of the free, where the white cliffs meet the sea. A thousand years of kings and queens Oxford and Cambridge, English law Charles Dickens and Bobby Moore Drake and Nelson, Sam in the Seven Seas very catchy. They're dancing in the studio. We're joined now by Robin Tilbrook, the chairman of the English Democrats. Robin, welcome back to the programme. We've been talking about UKIP, so let's just stay with it for a moment longer. You once had talks with UKIP um, and you, I think, were offered the job of deputy leader. Do you ever regret not going and joining the UKIP fold? Uh, hello, Joe. No, I don't. Um, after all, UKIP is about uh, Britain and Britishness rather than about England, uh, and uh, that's the important thing. And of course, um, Nigel Farage's um, sudden, sudden tearing up of their entire manifesto, claiming that it was um, drivel and nonsense uh, went, went on air, and um, the, the recent thing that we've had about whether or not he's going to stand and, and uh, get, get rid of their candidate in uh, Newark um, shows that actually their party is all about... Um, and uh, all about Nigel Farage rather than about the uh, politics and serious politics and so on. And, the, the, and really the only thing they, that they are dealing with is um, the, the fact that uh, people are increasingly sceptical about the merits of being in the EU. Right, I agree they, with that aspect of their policy. Right, but, but uh, whatever it is, the formula seems to be working certainly in terms of the polls for the European elections. Do you agree that UKIP, whichever way you look at it, has to some extent stolen your thunder? Um, no, I don't think so. I think that um, what's happened is that people in, in England are waking up to the idea of being English. Uh, if, if the Scots in Scotland feel Scottish and the Welsh in Wales feel Welsh, um, how can the English be British all on their own? Uh, after all, in the 2011 census results, we had 32 million people, that was over 60%, say that they were English only and not British. So in the year of the Scottish independence referendum, mm. uh, clearly we have got something to say that, uh, that UKIP simply is not interested in saying. They are, as one of your earlier commentators uh, was uh, mentioning, rather sort of um, no nostalgic for um, the old days of empire and so on. And, well, and, and we're, we're simply not that sort of party. We are the English Nationalist Party. Right. Well, if Scotland votes for independence in September, will you disband your party? Uh, no, uh, because we still think that England needs to be properly represented in the political process. Part of the reason why we don't have um, the, the, the fair treatment by the British establishment is because the English haven't been fighting their corner. That, that's why we have uh, a situation where there were prescription charges for free in Scotland and Wales, um, but we pay for them. Why uh, our residential care for the elderly we have to pay for. Um, why our students are being required to pay £9,000 a year when uh, Scottish students are going for free. We have not been arguing our corner as English people uh, effectively in the political process and we need a political party to do so. Well, I mean, you're launching your party's campaign for the European elections at the site of the original yes. Peasants' Revolt in 1381, but with 1.8% of people voting for you at the last set of elections, are you being ironic? No, I don't think we are. We, we're saying uh, let, let the English revolt begin. Um, in the last EU elections, um, we had a camp total campaign spend of under £25,000. If you were to compare that with any of the other um, major political parties who spent millions, um, our results of, three, of just short of 300,000, 280,000 votes, um, is, um, shows that we were actually achieving far more votes per pound than um, any other political party. Well, when you put it that way, that's... And, and we, we, we're better prepared this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting way of putting it. Robin Tilbrook in a sunny Essex. Thank you.